Fatima and her family fled Afghanistan after their home was struck by a missile 10 years ago. It was really difficult there. I mean, as you know, our lives were being threatened in there by Taliban. Her husband, Abdallah, was accepted by Australia as a refugee, but the rest of the family is in limbo. They've waited for four years for their visa application to be processed. Our house was hit by a missile. One of my daughters was killed by that attack, and because of that, we were forced to leave. They're waiting in Rawalpindi in Pakistan. The children can't go to school because they're not recognised as refugees here either. Application is, uh, I mean, processing very slowly. And I mean, I, we did not expect that from the Australian community. Australian lawyers are now representing the family in the federal court, saying the immigration minister has unreasonably delayed their visa applications. They say the wait for Afghan family visas is more than double what it takes for people from other countries. They are one of thousands of families who have spent years apart simply because the Australian government has failed to make a decision on their visa application. This fruit market in Rawalpindi is one of the few places where Afghan people can actually find a little bit of work without a valid visa, which is very hard to get here in Pakistan. And it's that lack of opportunities in countries like this that have led to more than 100,000 Afghan people choosing Australia as a place to apply for a humanitarian visa. A Home Affairs Department spokesman said the time taken to process family visa applications varies according to individual circumstances. In the last year, more than 900 family visas have been given to Afghan people, but Fatima and her family are still waiting for answers. Avani Dias, ABC News, Rawalpindi.